everybody, it's me, Azalea. You're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. If you have not subscribed and you like watching my videos, then I invite you to subscribe so you can get an update and not miss anything. Thrift haul. Let me just tell you. Like, this is a huge thrift haul. I normally do not drop this much dough at the thrift store. I got, It was like $70. Y'all will not believe what I got for $70. It was like a fall back to school shopping trip for two children and a huge purchase for my guest room, some things for myself. And it was just like, whoa, value, 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 saving money. Sometimes you gotta spend to save. And comment below if you have um, something to say on this topic. Isn't it really like feast or famine when it comes to thrift stores, charity shops, that kind of thing? It's like feast or famine. You go in there and they have got like a million things you need or want in your life and it is like, Everything. Like, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna buy out the whole store today? And then you go on another day and it's like, nothing, really. <laughs> nothing. Feast yeah. or famine. Yeah. So, what did I get at the thrift store? I'm gonna start with my really big purchase, okay? Yeah. So, I have a guest room and our bedroom and two children's rooms. So we have a double bed in the guest room and my like vintage chenille pink bedspread situation kind of went to shreds because we have to, I wash my bedspreads a lot with these children and animals all over the place and uh, it just like can't hold up to that, like the vintage chenille situation. It was gorgeous, but it had gone stretch, and I hadn't gotten a bedspread, so my guest room has been like out of commission for a while now. So I found this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous duvet cover. I'm really excited about it, and it's in perfect condition. It's either a queen or king size. I have just a double bed in there, but I love queen and king size, big puffy blankets on just the double bed. It's nice. So this is like a great, great color situation, great quality, um, really nice. Uh, so this is, you know, it's got the buttons. You slip the comforter in side of this. So it's like, well, I don't have a comforter. Let me go through and see if anything fits. And I got this monstrosity. Okay, so I actually really don't like this, but it's really, really thick and really, really, you know, high quality and perfect size. I laid them like out on top of each other just to make sure. So this thing is a huge monster. Like, I don't know if these are queen or king size, but they're huge. They're like monsters. So I'm just going to have a really cozy situation in the guest room now. So this goes on top of this. It's beautiful, comfortable. It's gonna be crazy warm. I'm really excited about that. I think that the duvet cover was maybe $7. The giant comforter, maybe $10. Neither of them have stains, holes, anything like that. Um, the comforter is a bit dated, but um, and not in the good way. But the duvet cover is bright and airy and beautiful. And who would even get rid of that? I don't even know. Um, so that was a huge purchase that I, I am like not, not under any circumstances going to shell out the money for like a brand new, like giant comforter. Unless it's like on mega sale. Like I'm just not. And I mean, unless I become a little more affluent at some point. Even then, I feel like I'm not gonna throw around and waste money when I can do secondhand good for the environment. Speaking of the environment, you guys, just wanna shout out, y'all need to watch Bill Nye's special on Netflix. Bill Nye's made a comeback and it's glorious. So yeah, Bill Nye saves the world. Um, so I actually found clothes for me. Now I am super, super, super duper picky about what I wear and I barely find things I like um but I found these gorgeous pants for me 
and they're a little bit um, big, but they have like a drawstring, and they I have a I have a big bottom, <laughs> and uh, so they're perfect for me. I love any kind of pants I can do yoga in. I really don't wear clothes that I can't do yoga in. Uh, so <laughs> I got myself two little tank tops. I love tank tops. Um, I pretty much I got this little Gap tank. It has a really good fit. And I got this little black tank that's like see-through, but I wear like a cute bra underneath. A little racer back situation. <laughs> so I'm feeling good about this. Um, these are good. Now, what did I get for the children? Let's start with, ooh, I got something else for me actually, because I'm redecorating my house and really pouring my creativity into it. I got this really nice tray I'm gonna put in my living room. How beautiful. I saw this and I was like, oh, this is the vibe. This is the vibe I want in my home. So I love this. I'm gonna sit this in the living room. I'm gonna put a plant on it. I don't know what I'm gonna put on it. Got ideas? Comment below. Little dialogue betwixt us. Uh, for the ki and the kids like get to pick one toy each. Um, so oh, Tom has this truck, this wooden truck. He loves it. It doesn't have a trailer, but he's like, I've got things I can tow. So you go for it, darling. See, got a pug. It makes noise. That's what I'm doing awkwardly right now. <laughs> Is squishy yet firm. It's a nice puppy. She wants it. Here you go, Z. Take your dog. Now, for Tom, we got some really great clothes. Like we I seriously did like a back to school shopping trip. Um, so there's this cute fleece lined flannel. Literally, perfect condition. Little Arizona Jean Company. This is gonna be perfect for him for fall. He's five years old, but like 10, 12 kids shirts. He's huge. That child is huge. So that's a really nice warm shirt for fall. Um, and then we got some pajamas. A nice little short sleeve set. Monster trucks. And then a long sleeve set. He picked these out. He like They, they hollered to him from the rack. He was like, ooh, I want these. And I was like, boy, if you were shopping for clothes, you can have whatever you want because he normally doesn't want to sit through shopping for clothes. Um, and then just a nice, plain, light brand new hoodie from my boy Tom. And what else for Tom? Ooh. He looks so good in a fancy little sweater in the fall. He's going to be cute. Um, and then I got him like, I, well, we live in Virginia. And I got him a Virginia is for Lovers t-shirt, which has a cool like vintage vibe to it. And like I have a lot of state and city pride. I like it here. And then holler at me in the comments if you find this to be true, mothers of boys. So, if you're trying to go secondhand um, because it's really great economically, it's really great environmentally, you should really, everyone should be buying secondhand at this point. Uh, but you can't find shoes, like good shoes, in good quality for boys. Like you could when they were babies and toddlers, and then like once the boys start walking, like it just like, drops off being able to find shoes not after they start walking like a little bit older and it's just like it's impossible even at like child specific like consignment store secondhand boys shoes you can find them but it's like they just, I think boys are really really rough on their shoes I know we don't send any of Tom's shoes to the thrift store or the consignment store because they'd laugh at me I think uh, if I showed them the shoes and I was like you want to buy these they, they just get Filthy dirty, you got stinky boy feet, you got mud and dirt and running, and they just like wear them out. And I think that boys might have a little bit less shoes than like some girls. Um, so like the one pair or two pairs of shoes, three, like get intense wear in them. But 
I got Tom a really, really great pair of Vans to grow into. He's going to look adorable. But yeah, these are bigger than what he's in right now. Like two, three sizes at the most, bigger than what he's in. But he, he grows fast, this child. So I need to be prepared. I put stuff away for him. If I can find something cool, because I'm also really... <laughs> really really specific about my children's style as well and I love like things that they pick for themselves but you know Tom really doesn't care that much so I always try and do kind of classic things like solid stripes plaids and um bands I like I don't like super athletic shoes for like everyday shoes, but uh, yeah, oh, these are good. So that's a nice vibe for him. What else do I have? What other goodies did I get on this like grand excursion to the thrift store? What I have left is for Missy, my princess. I got her this. Doesn't this, oh my gosh, it's just like, like grunge, fairy, forest. Ethereal. Ethereal. Glorious. I love that tutu. Um, here's a little t-shirt for the princess with little pom-poms on it. They're in the shape of a heart. It says heart. If you can't, if you can't read, let me read it for you. Um, and this is like J. Crew Kids. J. Crew is big in Lynchburg. We have an outlet and a call center here for J. Crew. So Lynchburg is like everyone wears J. Crew. Because we get a little cheaper at like the outlet and then it goes to thrift stores because people grow out of them. Anyway, J. Crew's big in Lynchburg, Virginia, if you didn't know. Um, but they are high quality. Um, uh, this is another J. Crew, a little J. Crew basic for a little baby Z. It needs to be washed, ironed, something fluffed. Um, who doesn't love this basic t shirt design? So good. I, I didn't realize I got so much J. Crew babies. Uh, sweater. I love her in a colorful sweater. That's for the dog. Go find the dog. She's got a dog treat for the dog. Uh, and then a couple of pair of pants. Elastic pull-on pants. Finally, I've got these really cute pull-on striped pants. And that is the thrift haul video for today. I am Azalea. I'm glad you guys watched. I love thrift shopping. It's great for the environment. It's great for not buying into capitalism per se. So y'all do it. I have fun doing it and I will talk to you guys later.